Today I'm giving Casper a front engine accessory inspection. That includes belts, pulleys, vacuum pump, AC mount, alternator mount. This alternator mount thing can be a real problem. But one of the things you want to do is check your water pump. You know, even if they're not leaking, the first signs of water pump failure is the bearing start to wear. And you can grab a hold of this pulley here and shake it back and forth like this. You really have to move it. And if you feel any move at all in this pulley, you know, assuming these bolts are tight, of course, if you feel any play at all, you need to replace the water pump because if you don't, it's going to be leaking in the not so distant future. The other thing you want to check is your fan clutch. And with Casper, I notice this fan clutch is not shot, okay? It still has a little life in it, but it's pretty weak. You should hit it and spin it, and it shouldn't spin, it should just stop. But this one, I can actually get a little bit of spin to it. Now, you'll get in there on some of these, and you'll spin them, and they'll just spin around and around. And at that point, you know you have to replace it. Other times, they'll lock up. Don't worry if there's a little bit of play. You don't want a lot of play in the clutch. But it's normal to have a little bit of play. But the thing you want to check is the viscosity of the fluid inside the clutch that will keep that fan from spinning too freely and of course you want to make sure it's not locked up. I've seen these lock up and you'll have a big roar in the engine when you get up to about 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. Let me show you what a good fan clutch should look like. I just happen to have a good used low mileage fan clutch I pulled off another engine a couple years ago. So this is going on Casper. You can mount these in a vise and try to spin them. It's hard to do it by hand, but right here you can see how hard I have to turn it. It's real stiff and very, very little play in this center shaft. But remember, when you go to replace one of these fan clutches, you've got to remove four bolts here. This has to come off, by the way, to replace the water pump. And so enter one of my special wrenches that I've developed over the years. This is the fan clutch bolt wrench. Let me show you how this works. I'm really proud of this particular wrench. I had only been into Mercedes diesels for I think a couple months when I found out I had to replace a water pump because it was leaking. You can literally see it leaking out of the bottom of the pump and you could also feel the play in the bearings of the pump. Well, I look around here and I'm saying, well, first thing I gotta take this fan off. <laughs> And I can remember trying to get a wrench on these bolts and I knew right away some of these are on so tight that if I put an open end on it, it was too loose and I was going to risk the chance of rounding this bolt head off. And then how are you going to get it off? You can't get a vice grip in there. Well, you really have a big wrench dance. And if you try to use the box end wrench, of course, that doesn't work either. And I'll explain a little bit later why it doesn't work. So I fought this and sure enough, I decided, well, this is going to require a special wrench, and this is one of those special wrenches I made over 15 years ago. It's gone through a couple of evolutions, but let me show you now the current evolution of this special water pump fan clutch wrench that's used on these older Mercedes 4 and 5 cylinder diesels and even some of the gas engines as well. First, I want to show you what you'll run into if you try to remove these fan clutch bolts with a standard combination 10 millimeter wrench. If you go in there with the open end, you'll find it's very loose. And if you try to torque these off and round these particular bolt heads off, then you're going to have a lot of fun getting them out. Let me guarantee you. Now, if you try to use the box end, which is the safer way to go, you cannot get the box end on these. Look at that. And the reason is the box is too thick. And the outer circumference of the wrench, and that's typical of most of these wrenches, they're just too thick to get on these bolts. So most people resort to using the open end, and that's why you'll find so many of these are rounded off. And so I'm very proud of the wrench that I developed. We had to special grind the head. We had to straighten the head out because you don't want it to be offset. But I also, look, put a long handle on it, and this handle functions as a number 13, which you can use on the bolts on the non-clutch fans, like on the 240Ds, but there's also other areas that you can use a 13 millimeter wrench. But it's a 10 millimeter on this end. With a long handle, it'll allow you to go down in there, and we make it so it's a real tight fit because you can't grind too much of that head off or you'll weaken the wrench. 
So you get it in there, look at that. Now you've got lots of torque to go ahead and loosen up the bolt, just like that. I'm not gonna take it all the way out here, but we're really proud of the production of this wrench here in our shop. And this is going to save you a ton of hassle anytime you go to replace the fan clutch or the water pump on your older six cylinder gas, four cylinder diesel, or five cylinder diesel up to about 1985.